I'm Captain Richard Collins. I'm the Traffic Bureau Commander. And it's my pleasure to be Dave's boss and be part of this organization, uh, which has showed so much caring and outpouring for Detective Dave Rooney. A little bit of background. On March 22nd, you know, Dave woke up with a, apparently a stiff neck, and Shannon took him to the hospital. And he got there, and they said there's something seriously wrong. And that night, he almost died. And everybody has friends that have serious health impairments and everybody tries to flock, everybody went to see him. Uh, he was comatose, a lot of us went there, he didn't know we were there. But over the next several weeks, people kept coming to see him and we, we tried to do what most units and people do is you know, help the friends and help the family. The bills start racking up, we start learning that there is some difficulties and we all know what that is. Um, so Dave and some of us got together and we thought what it is that we can do first of all. And the first thing that was done, Steve Moore, at the generous of his heart, helped Dave get to the Mayo Clinic all on his own. Getting uh, Dave down there was just the beginning. We also had to think about the future and what Dave was going to be going through and what the family would be going through. So we came up with the idea, let's do something that, that Dave likes to do, that Dave would enjoy doing, and that's where we came up with the idea of a ride for Dave, and it just kind of snowballed from there. We were able to uh, pull this off, which, surprisingly enough, I think we pulled it off in, what, six weeks? Put it together, pulled it off in six weeks, which I, I don't think anybody thought was impossible at the time. And uh, once again, thanks to everyone here and, and so many other people for, for the help, and that's what helped us pull us off. tell you what, that support helped Dave be where Dave is today because it gave him the will and the strength to push on and beat what was uh, causing that illness. So uh, thank you to everybody here and those that aren't here, thank you for that as well. When we had an event like the Ride for Dave um, and in an event like this today, there needs to be 6,000 people in this organization sitting here seeing it because we do care. The people that, that make up this organization, the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department is an entity. It's made up by almost 6,000 people today. And there was a large number of those people and friends of those people who made that ride possible and who made today possible. So I just wish they all could see it. And what has historically occurred out of traffic is you have led the, you have led the charge in caring for your own. And this organization needs to see and hear and do more of it. So from, from my perspective, both as uh, an administrator of this organization and from the position that I hold as the, uh, the director of the Police Foundation, I want to thank you. And my hat's off to you. You know, I'm trying to guess if I might get 100 bucks here. <laughs> Good thing I have the cap on, huh? What a tremendous event. So on, on behalf of uh, the Police Foundation, I'd like to present this check to you. And again, this is not representative of the work the Foundation did. It's representative of the men and women that are in this room, this agency, and uh, the people in this community who uh, love and support you and what this organization does. I'm here to tell you, guys, when the chips are down, they're, they are all there for you. I mean, from the guys in your unit all the way up to the sheriff. My wife will tell you how many times the sheriff was there when I was in a coma. Um, as a matter of fact, she tells me the story the first night or, or the second night she was there and she hears this voice behind her, you know, how's my boy? And she recognized the voice, not that she's we're friends with the sheriff or anything, but she turns around and there's Sheriff Gillespie. And he was there a lot. The captain was there a lot. I mean, all my friends were there. You know, uh, we had Jeremy, and we had uh, Mr. Harmon there. I mean, every, we had everybody was there, you know, for you and for me and for my family. 
and it took a huge burden off my wife. You know, to have, we've got three kids, very active, three very active kids. And you guys and my family and friends took care of all that. I don't know how I would have made it without that. You know, I truly don't. It was, it was really amazing the kind of support that I had and the kind of, you know, like I said, just little things. The, you know, showing up with an iced tea or the being there or even the, you know, reminders that I really do need to get out and take a walk around the hospital, Jeremy, to make sure that I was uh, outside and actually did see that we did have sunlight because I spent every day in the hospital for that much time. But um, I can't thank you all enough for that. And then, you know, we were getting David to Mayo Clinic regardless of what it took. Um, but when we found out that it was going to be almost $5,000 to have him flown down there, insurance wasn't going to cover it, it was really kind of scary. And just to have Steve come and say, hey, don't worry about it, it's covered, and, you know, and the next day it was, was really kind of wonderful. And then, you know, to have everyone back that up and take care of everything. And this is just amazing. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what to say about that. And then going into the ride, and he said that someone would be touched. Well, David and I both were in tears. I mean, I just, you know, I wasn't even shy about it, so they were just rolling down my face. He was a little, you know, more of a guy. But, you know, <laughs> but it, it truly, I, I can't thank you guys all enough. And when he was talking about the sheriff, he did. I mean, the sheriff was there just about every single morning before I came into work. I would know, you know, so 6.15, here comes the sheriff. There's guys that came in uniform to feed me. Uh, for those that don't know, I was paralyzed from the neck down. I couldn't move anything. And uh, there was guys that I had to be fed. You know, that was the only way I was getting substance in me is somebody do it for me. You guys came to do that, and I was floored. And if you didn't include my sergeant to feed me. <laughs> so, but thank you very much. But I wanted to make sure Shannon got recognized. I mean, it's a wonderful woman here. There's no way I could have done it without her. And like I said, it's our 20th anniversary today. And this one's kind of special because I'm here and we get to spend it together. Um, and we're hoping that we have, you know, many, 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 many more. So, thank you guys.